Hey, I'm Christy Darty. Today we're going to talk about punch needling. I'm loving it. It's so fun. It's something that you can do uh, when you're watching TV or if you go on a trip or um, just hanging out with friends. It's really I'm going to have an online class where you'll be able to uh, learn all about punch needle. You will not need all the supplies that I'm going to share with you in just a minute. So don't be overwhelmed. You can start with just the basics. This is an Oxford punch needle. I use this for yarn, and this is the Ultra Punch needle that I use for uh, DMC floss and really thin yarn. This one I actually sell in my Etsy shop. You'll also need some snips, some kind of little scissors, and you'll need a marker so you can trace your pattern. There's two different kinds of cloth, weaver's cloth and monk's cloth. So we've got yarn or DMC floss. You'll need some kind of pattern. I also sell this in my Etsy shop. My patterns come with instructions with photos on how to make it. It comes with the pattern. The pattern has to be backwards because you punch on the back side. And what's fun is you can change the colors. You can, you know, make it your own. I love to see how people change it up. Here's another project I made. This is a pillow. It says, let's snuggle. And I, I designed this and I'm gonna, I designed my patterns on my iPad Pro. Here's an example of one. And here is um, me working on it. This is the back side. This is the side you punch on. And this is the side that has the finished the finished side, which I'm obviously still working on. And I use the ultra punch needle for that. For punch needling, you also need something to hold your fabric. You want the fabric to be drum tight, so it's easier to punch. This is a gripper frame. Um, it's got these like teeth on it, kind of like a carpet strip, and your fabric clings to that. And it, you pull it and it makes it really tight. I use this for my monk's cloth, which is for the, like the pillow I made with a thicker yarns where you have to use the monk, monk's cloth. The monk's cloth. I love this hoop. This is a Morgan frame and I got the lap frame because it has two sizes so you can work on this side for a smaller project and this side for a bigger project but it um, it holds it really tight. Again it's got to be drum tight and then you just punch in it and you punch on this side and in the class I go into a lot more detail about how to do it but it's so fun. Sometimes in the class I will tell you the same thing a hundred times because you gotta get it <laughs> and then sometimes I might leave something out and so um, that's what the platform is for q and I'm super excited to share with you my next design. Can you see it? <laughs> I'm gonna make it a pillow to put on my couch for the 4th of July. I made these just in time for Easter. These are my little bunny patterns. And of course you can get them in my shop and make them any time of the year. Oh, this would be cute just for like a baby room. Well, either one would, but I think of Peter Rappick when I see this one. This one's called Professor Bunny and this one is called Sassy Bunny. One more project that I did. These are coasters. Here's what it looks like finished. And you just put your cup on there and it's a cozy little coaster. And I like that they're all different but you could do them all the same. And isn't it fun to think maybe for Christmas gifts you could make these? Now in my class, you will learn a lot about Apple and Oreo because they'll be running around here and there, I'm sure. Oreo, she's the one with the cone around her head. <laughs> Can you see the cone? And then Apple, Apple's our little rescue. She's a sweet doggy. Say hi. Say hi for the camera. If you have a cat, I'm sure they're going to be all over the yarn. <laughs> but it's funny how animals just want to be right there with you when you're doing something. And so, thank you for watching. Again, I'm Christy Darty, uh, like party Darty. <laughs> so that's how I get people to remember my name. And you can follow me on Sweet Pea Paisley Handmade on Facebook. You can find me on Instagram under Sweet Pea Paisley. You can find me on Etsy where I sell my patterns and my and a punch needle. So happy punching. Don't forget to sign up for my online class. You can find the details in the comments.